Hi guys, it's Mino, and today we are starting off very different than we have before. I know normally I go into my normally my faction series, but today I have got some very very good news for you. I was doing a bit of um, testing out with Canon's new wall servers and uh, just different ways um, can protect the base, raid other bases, and I think I've come up with probably the next best unraidable walls. So you've heard of all the normal regens, the double regens, you've got the mine chat regens which were I believe almost unraidable, but I believe now I have made the next best regens, okay? They are the new minnow regen walls, okay? Got to go along with this and I believe they are almost unraidable. So this is the design of it, it's on a diagonal like an arrowhead. And basically, these are if you guys don't know what regen walls are, it's where you have a lava source block all the way through, and it means that it will continuously regen if you let's say if you stack up water, if you stack up sand like this, a bit high there, then it means when you like this, it should blow up, and then what it will do is it will regen the whole wall. There we go, and boom. I don't know what oh, I think I misplaced some stuff down there. But it will it will if you put lava everywhere in there, it will regen all the time. So if a cannon blows up, this will this will not break this will just regen back again and again and again no matter where you do it. So best time is to do it all the way up to Skyline from Bedrock. And to me it was one of the most OP walls I've ever found. However, the weakest point is probably the front. So if people try to do a regen bust through here, the best thing is is they'd have to then destroy this whole lava pillar and this whole lava pillar to get through here then they have another whole region to get through which means they'd have to break more area out so these walls at the moment are quite OP and the best thing is if you decide to build this out continuously along this line and along that line um, I was testing out with some of my friends and they went can't you just left shoot so if you blew into the side and left shoot the best thing is about this if you do not add anything behind here so if your base was a couple of blocks off world border which I would recommend doing this means people cannot left shoot into your base if this was your first wall which makes it a very very OP wall so hopefully that is easy to understand and I want to show you guys now how to build it okay guys this is like a small version of the scaffolding It's very easy to make all you have to do is literally place it on the diagonal and break and then just continuously go like that and it's very easy to do however you have to remember the front bit which is probably normally the front of your base because this is going to be like a, a diamond shape if you are not at world border and this has to be placed so you place your block there and you do one two two three and place the fourth block there so the fourth block as your next regen because this is so it means everything can be properly regen and that is how to get it all to work properly so what you have to do is you'll have to come under you may have to create scaffolding if you do not have the fly command in normal worlds but all you have to do is place lava under all of these blocks oh. <clears throat> try not to get it mixed up there so you want to place lava under all here and then just here so what this will do is this will create this shell for your regions you have to make sure it goes <clears throat> all the way down to the bottom or else it will not gen properly and then you'll sometimes have problems so everything's at the bottom then all you have to do then is just place water you can place water on every other one if you want to but I normally place water on all the tops here and here and then you'll have to let this all go all the way down to the bottom and then that will create the shell of your regions next what you want to do is take the water back off the top so there we go so then let all the water drain down this is now the shell of your regions because I accidentally misplaced it I can take away this wall so keep on the diagonal so try not to misplace lava it will probably annoy you quite a bit and then go down here so if you place it all properly these are very easy to create the shell of and there we go so we now have the arrow formation of our new region walls and then what you want to do is break the top of all of these and go through the whole of the pillar filling it with source blocks so what that means is we take away this bit here you have to go all the way down to the bottom of your regen walls so let me just get this all to go down 
and you want to make sure you place it at the bottom and then on every block place lava because then that means when you break a block lava sources will flow faster than water sources and then that means it will regen again so you got to make sure you do that through all of these pillars and then if you ever come to a corner all you have to do like I said so if we come out of it there we go so there all you have to do is place like that and then make sure like that and then that will bring you a corner and then make sure you place the fourth block there and then that's where your next region is because then that creates this regen pillar here this cannon is very overpowered and I hope it will help you guys along I believe it is unreadable at the moment I'm testing lots of different cannons out seeing if there's anything that can get through this but at the moment everything has failed because of all these extra source blocks they are very easy to make very simple but very very effective so if you guys have any questions about these regen walls, any unknown any cannons, I will hopefully tell them to you very soon. But just remember, if you're going to leave them like this when you place the water, don't forget to place water in here to keep this a regen wall and make sure it's probably best to place on the back because then that just gives it extra protection. And then that means you don't have to worry about getting raided. These walls are very, very overpowered. If I can find an easier way to make them for you guys, maybe if you don't have a fly command, then I might be able to find some little tips but this wall is very overpowered it can stop a lot of new regen busters because of how many how much protection there is and if we go back to this wall here that has got all the lava in if you do shoot to this front one and somehow stop this from uh, regen a lot of the time people turn it to obsidian this source here and then this source here actually act as a, another form of source block and at the moment i believe there's no cannon that can corner shoot which means it can fire into the corner and hybrid and regen so if they try to fire diagonally that's impossible at the moment and at the moment people have been trying to fire into here and the thing is if they try to get rid of this this will protect it if they try to get rid of this pillar this one will back it up so you need about two to three cannons all going at the same time to get through this wall at the moment so to me this is a very very overpowered wall so I'd love to share this with you guys, I want you guys to put this on your faction base, it will probably use up quite a bit of space, I'd normally use it as your first wall, but it is very overpowered and I don't believe anyone's got a cannon that can get through this yet. So, I'm, I don't know, if you guys can come up with anything that can beat this, please let me know, but at the moment this is probably the most unraidable wall at the moment, no walls can, are unraidable yet, and I believe this wall is. So, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the brand new Minnow regen walls. Please tell your friends who play factions about this new wall. You can call it the Minnow walls if you want. So, I'm going to call it the Minnow regen wall because I believe I came up with the idea. But if you guys got any questions about it, please let me know. So, don't forget to like, subscribe for this brand new concept. So, please like, subscribe. If you are new to the channel, check it out. Please check out my faction series. Don't forget to subscribe, we do lots of videos every week and all your support would be really good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please sub, like and subscribe. These walls are absolutely OP and I want you guys to be using them to save all your loot because I know how much it annoys me and I will be using these walls because at the moment they are unbraidable. No one can get through them at the moment. Adding slabs will make them even harder. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And comment down below if you love these walls. And I'll see you all in the next episode. See ya.